this is just going to be a super duper quick um, overview slash care slash show off video of uh, one of my uh, Sculpture Island baboons. Um, I just rehoused her. She's right there. Um, her setup is pretty simple. It's just a tote. Um, I believe it's like 10 by 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 by 12. I haven't measured exactly. Um, but these guys are super simple. Give them lots of substrate. Um, this is probably like six inches or so of substrate. Um, this is full grown. She's an adult female. They're considered one of the smaller tarantulas. Um, she's about like three and a half, four inches all the way stretched out from uh, back of the right to tip of the front. Um, but these guys typically burrow. They web up a lot. This is just um, webs from this bark was in her last enclosure too but it just it just wasn't quite um it had enough soil but it didn't have enough room for me to really work with and it made feeding her kind of a hassle and watering her kind of a hassle um i don't know how you got in there he was probably attached to uh it's a little red runner road she was probably attached to one of the bark pieces um but yeah she's a gorgeous gorgeous animal um these guys uh their venom is it's not super bad it's not as bad compared to some of the other baboons um, and they're, they're really not that aggressive um, she's more flighty she'll she'll run she'll take off if she's really scared she she's really never given me a, a threat posture um, so not a really a bad tarantula for um, a beginner honestly it's they're they're a pretty good um, starter tarantula um, they're a little bit pricey um, but their prices have come down a lot um, you'll expect to pay like anywhere from like 50 to 80 dollars for a sling you know depends you know people have sales and whatnot um, but yeah they like it um, relatively dry relatively dry um, almost bone dry I just uh, what I like to do is I refill the water dish and I let it overflow a little bit um, about once a week or so and that kind of gives them a little bit of moisture you know um, but I have never seen her drink uh, I'm sure they do but I've just never seen it um, I feed her like red runners sometimes I'll give her dubia she's not super duper picky um, but she is a little bit timid um, these are shy spiders and you won't often see them up except when they're feeding sometimes you'll see them wandering around at night um, but during the daytime pretty much good luck you won't you won't see a spider like this during the day most of the time anyways um, but they do web up really nicely um, unfortunately I had to destroy the old webs on her old enclosure but they web up all over the place um, especially when they're gravid, it's like crazy. It's all over the place. Um, I have a male and another two females. I'm waiting for the male to mature before I introduce them to these girls. Um, hopefully this girl will molt and then he'll mature and it'll be like perfect timing. Um, but that is yet to be seen. Yeah, that's about it. Um, if you have any more questions about her, feel free to ask. Um, hopefully if I get slings from her, she'll go, they'll go on auction at U.S. Invertebrate Auctions. Um, I've had one other go with this, um, with another female, but she just produced, she ate her sack. It was unfortunate. Um, I get really bad luck with timing since, you know, they, if they molt, it ruins the sack. And I've, I've, I've made that mistake two or three times with this particular species, like a dummy. Um, they just, uh, yeah, really cool spiders, really cool spiders. But yeah, like I said, simple. Um, I might add like a fake plant in here just for like aesthetic sake. Um, but not really necessary. I mean, really, you don't even need this core park. They'll make their own burrow in the dirt. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, give me your feedback. Ask any questions you'd like to ask, and have a good one. Oh, by the way, um, Socotra Island Baboon. Um, what's their scientific name? Monocentropus, uh, Monocentropus Balfouri. Yeah, that's what it is. So yeah, so now you got the species name and whatnot. Well, there you go. Have a good night, guys.